one lovely clean cockpit just getting ready and I've just been told that the checkout guys are delayed. The immigration guy won't be here till 10, 10 30, so we have to wait. She doesn't need to come up and see you then. So these are the immigration officials. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. They actually did want to have a look around the inside of the boat and um, I'm convinced that they were looking to see if I was stowing anyone away down there to take away with me illegally. I'm going to have a little problem checking because there's a lot in the way. All when I, I get to go into meter, I can stow things a bit better. All I needed was a nice shot here of these solar panels that uh, Herman helped me to string up. And we had quite a bit of waiting around because um, the half past nine appointment was quite early on delayed to half past ten or eleven. I think they're taking a picture of the boat now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> These are the customs. This pair is the customs. Immigration is delayed. Another 40 minutes probably. And I think, are you both customs? You're both customs? We have immigration here. Yeah. <laughs> Checking my passport. Yeah. And the other person we're waiting for, what is he for? I've had customs. I'm, I'm doing, uh, just checking that you are uh, by valid uh, in the country. Oh, the reader. Yeah. It turned out, in fact, that the, uh, the official in brown here was from the Capitania, from the port captain's office, and just uh, he was there to make sure that we left soon after. So here we are, finally leaving Paradise Village in Nuevo Viata and heading for the entrance to the harbour. Okay, so there we are, leaving Paradise Village, Nuevo Viata. And uh, next we're going to put the anchor down in Punta de Mita. Say goodbye to Nuevo Viata and Nayarit. Fairly hazy day, but it's good to be on the move. Had a lovely shower, fresh hair, everything is okay, everything's good. So here we are underway. And uh, hoping that everything goes okay. And there's the zarpe that I was given to show in French Polynesia that I've left Mexico without any problems. So unfortunately we got away a little bit late and um, I thought, oh well, no problem, we'll just uh, motion out of the bay uh, because the wind was, uh, you know, ahead. And uh, I hadn't long got the motor going, then uh, the overheat alarm went. So I had to stop it, uh, the exhaust was getting way too hot, so I didn't, it didn't occur to me to check the impeller before I left because I thought it was fine and obviously that was something I should have done. So now I'm having to sail, I've had to sail against a headwind and it's actually quite a strong one, we've got 22 knots of apparent wind against us. And we're making six knots, uh, it's due south and I want to go uh, pretty well west actually. And uh, the wind is from the southwest, so I'm going either, well, yeah, I, I went as west as I could just now. And then I tacked around because it was getting uh, shallow and um, uh, too, too close to the La Cruz Marina in fact. So I had to tack around, so now we're heading just slightly west of due south and I can't say I'm, I can't say I'm enjoying myself at the moment. Um, I wasn't expecting to have this uh, start to my journey. You know, I thought I'd just uh, go and motor over to the anchorage, uh, go and anchor in Punta de Mita and sort a few more things out. Totally uh, unexpected to find that the engine needed to, uh, I, I, I can't use it basically until I get to the anchorage and then I can have a look at the impeller. What a pain. Anyway, so um, not exactly uh, an auspicious start to my, uh, to my journey. We're making good speed, but the wind is definitely up, of course. In the afternoon, you get the strong thermal wind. 
and um, so we're having to beat against that to try to get to where we want to go. So we'll keep on this tack for a bit longer and uh, then we'll um, tack around and try and make a bit of westing if we can. Uh, another problem that I'm thinking of is that of course the thermal wind dies at sunset so somehow I've got to try to get to the anchorage uh, before the wind dies away completely otherwise <laughs> that's going to give me another problem. Anyway that's the point the, uh, at the moment it's about half past two in the afternoon locally just coming up to half past two and um, what time did I get going? I think I got going about 11.15 so you know okay so that's the situation at the moment uh, hopefully we'll get a bit closer uh, yeah if, if we can tack on a good tack when we tack around uh, at the moment the tack seems to take us northwest so I have to clear a point clear a headland and uh, on this tack before I can tack around to make sure I get clear of it okay that's it for the moment We've tacked around a while back and uh, it's actually very pleasant at the moment but my main worry is that this wind is going to die down and I'm going to have a major, major problem getting to the anchorage. Uh, we're actually now heading on this tack, we're heading north, northwest, which is not exactly helpful. Um, uh, the lines of our tack are, uh, of our tacking are really quite close together, the zigzags. Um, I'll, have a, I'll show on the chart in a moment. Anyway, so um, just to kind of do something a bit positive, I've actually made some marks on my reef lines here, so that at least I know where my first reef, uh, where, my, where the lines come to uh, uh, when I put my first reef in, which is really handy. And on the other side as well for the halyard and also for the reefing lines. So, yep, the sun is shining. We've got uh, a slightly furled in Genoa, one reef in the main. Because we were getting 22 knots apparent, it has died back down again now. We're doing about 15 apparent. Pretty close hauled, of course. Still got my Mexican flag flying because I'm in Mexican waters. And uh, blue sky, blue sky in the mountains around. think about anything else it's actually quite pleasant the main thing is not to think about all the other things that <laughs> a lot of things have fallen around down below because I wasn't expecting to be out here sailing in this in these rough seas I thought I would have been motoring to get to the anchorage directly from uh, Paradise uh, well from Nueva Viata the entrance there motoring wouldn't have taken too long before the wind got up so uh, Plans have had to change. You always have to be flexible when you're sailing. Again, the chart shows our, the tacks we've made and a bit of wandering around when I was trying to get the reef in with difficulty without being able to get head to wind easily. Anyway, uh, it's showing that we've made nearly 20 miles. We've actually sailed about 20 miles, but we're actually, um, as the crow flies to the entrance to the harbour that I just left from, uh, Nueva Riata, that's about seven miles. So, so far, I've actually travelled 20 miles just to make seven in the actual direction I should, you know, I really wanted to go. A little bit frustrating. So we just couldn't quite make the point, uh, there were rocks off it as well, so <laughs> I've had to tack around again and then uh, just go a little distance in order to make the, the bay at uh, Punta de Mita. Uh, anyway, so then I'll stay there. I mean, it's a beautiful evening. We've got this lovely, got the sun shining here and the Marietta's, where are they? They're just in the distance there. 
and a very hazy sky today. Can't, not, can't easily see the mountains, They're, they are there but very hazy. And there's the shore near where we are. So um, I'm just hoping that we will make, that the wind will, I mean it's dying a little bit, what are we making, two and a half knots <laughs> in seven knots of apparent wind. Mind you, I have gone a bit closer to the wind uh, in the uh, hope of getting a better course. So we'll see how that goes. I'll, I'll just go a little bit further and then I think I should be okay. I might go maybe a mile. Hopefully this wind will just keep on giving me a little puff and enable me to just to get in. Just, 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 because it will get really calm later. So I hope it doesn't die too quickly. So that's where we want to be. I want to actually be over here somewhere. So I have to go a bit further on this track. Well, we're still ambling along. Uh, we've got wind of, uh, apparent wind of about uh, six or seven knots. And we're making, well, we're nearly making three knots. Oh my God. Anyway, the, uh, we're getting closer and having tacked around again and the wind shifted. Well, I, I think I trimmed the sails better. So we're making our way to where we want to be to drop the anchor. So we'll down the sails, furl in the chinoa and down the main, and then we'll be able to uh, drop the anchor. So hopefully, well, where are we? I've got one mile to go to where I want to be. And under three knots, that means It'll take 20 minutes or half an hour. Let's call it half an hour. Very, very relaxing. The sun is getting quite low. Very calm evening. I just got the anchor ready. We're not quite where I want to be, but the sun is setting, so I think we'll be okay. <laughs> We're a little way out at the moment, although the depth isn't, um, it's only oh, under 30 feet, under 10 meters, so we could actually anchor here. It's pretty calm. So there goes the sun over Punta de Mita. I was up well before six in the morning and, um, you know, with a couple of important jobs to do, like cleaning out the cockpit and the, the drains there need to be kept clean and the floor was quite dirty, so I did that. Um, I defrosted my fridge, in fact, as well and had my shower and did one or two other things, of course. And um, so that was, uh, I will just get to sleep when I get in finally. Marietta is a very favourite place for people to, oh, and there's a fisherman out there. He did go whizzing by a, a, a while ago. Very um, popular places for a bit of snorkeling and kayaking. There's a lot, uh, they're nature reserves, marine reserves, so they've got plenty of life there. sun disappears. It's um, just gone half past seven I think. No, nope, just coming up to twenty past seven. And we are making 1.2 knots over the ground. So the good news was that I was able to anchor in reasonable light and um, then my main job was to get a decent meal together because I hadn't eaten all day and then get to my bunk for a really, really good sleep. I was pretty tired 
and then uh, get to the problems in the morning.